Cheers, Rev. Now, I've got to agree with him, that Audi is one beautiful car. Now, it's not just four-wheel drive and a geezer behind the wheel that those two cars on the rolling road have in common. Oh, no. They've both got turbochargers. And if you've ever wondered what they do and how they do it, today, with the help of our friendly expert, Simon from One in the Cars, we're going to get down to the nitty-gritty. It's time to pump that power with turbos. <laughs> turbo is it? It certainly is Lynn. Wow, oh yeah daddy. It looks a bit of a mind-bending object. How does it work? Well to be honest Lynn it's not quite as complicated as you'd think. Here's how a turbo works. Hot air comes in here from your exhaust system, goes in, spins an exhaust wheel which is connected to the front wheel. Exhaust gases go out down your exhaust system the normal route. This wheel which is spinning the front wheel sucks cold air in pressurises that air and sends that out to your engine. The more pressure there is there, the more horsepower there is. Simple as that. Ah, it's starting to come clear now. Tell me more, Simon. Well then, why don't we go to the workshop and have a closer look? Let's go. So what have we got here then, Simon? Well, this is the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 7. It's the RS version, so it's the light body. OK. And this is a good example to show you because it has got the larger turbo fitted. OK, turbo. So is that the turbo there? Yep, that's the turbo just mounted under the manifold. Excellent. So um, how difficult is it to fit? Is it a case of having to pull the whole engine out before you can fit the turbo? No, to fit the turbo, as you can see, it's mounted under the manifold. You unbolt the manifold and then you can fasten the turbo where the existing one was. It's not just a question, as you can see, of fitting um, the turbo at the front there. On um, this at Kai, for example, we've got a fuel delivery system in the boot because it needs more fuel because it's a bigger turbo. Right, in the um, boot? In the boot, yes. OK. We've also um, changed the, the airflow. We have to put large injectors into it. Um, all the ECU, which is the engine management system, has to be changed right. to cater for the larger turbo. OK, so once the engine's mapped, how much extra power is it really going to give you? Well, this is a standard car. To give you an example, it's 280 brake horsepower. Mm -hmm. That's a very large turbo, which is a 25G titanium turbo, which can boost up to 550 brake horse. Uh. This actual vehicle is running at 440. OK, so maximum turbo boost on this is 550? 550. 550. Unbelievable. All right, without getting too technical then, Cy, for a girly like me, what's actually inside the turbo and how does it actually work inside? Right, well, I think for that we're going to meet Clive again. OK. OK, let's go. What are go. we waiting for? Hi, Clive. Hello. Hello. Right, we saw your Fabby diagram earlier on. Yeah. Uh, could you just recap again for the likes of me with your real McCoy here? I certainly will. Right, this is a big turbo. It's off mm -hmm. a truck. Yeah. Uh, it's what we use to show people. It's a bit clearer because it's bigger. Right. Here, nearest to you, you've got the actual front end of the turbo. Yeah. Which is where the, the air comes in, gets pressurised in here and goes into your engine. This is the bit that actually generates that pressure where the exhaust gases come in, go down your exhaust system and spin the wheel in the front there to generate your boost pressure. Excellent. It's all coming clear now. And one other thing, you know that hissing noise, that kind of you hear, is that something to do with the turbo as well? It's a bit further down the line. Because you've generated a pressure in here, when you lift off your throttle, that has to go somewhere and it right. goes out the dump valve and it lets one off. It lets one off. <laughs> Ooh, thanks, Clive. OK, so the big question on everyone's lips, how much of a big hole in my back pocket is all this going to burn? OK, for the Evo 7 that we saw earlier, you're looking around £3,000 for the kit. For a hybrid for an RS Turbo, anything from £500 upwards, we all recommend that you seek professional advice or get a professional to fit it for you. So, definitely not just a load of hot air when it comes to turbochargers. Don't forget, if you've got any questions for us here at the show, drop us an email via the website menandmotors.co.uk.